Dobre dan. Good afternoon. So this is Sremski Karlovci. If I'm getting that right. You saw there my uh, room. I booked it on booking.com, but kind of more of a uh, Airbnb for $25 a night. A really nice uh, couple that manages it with a kitchen and dining room area and stuff. And a uh, very lovely afternoon here. So Kremski Karlovci is very close to Novi Sad, just a 15-minute uh, drive away. And for those who have followed my uh, past videos of my Serbian road trip, then I started off in Novi Sad about like 10 days ago or so and did a big circle. And people had recommended Kremski Karlovci. And so uh, I decided to finish my trip here because I am flying out tomorrow from Belgrade Airport going to another country. You will find out where very soon. So this is my last uh, day of exploring in Serbia and I had aspirations of going to Subotica, a uh, really pretty looking town on the Hungarian border north of here, about an hour and a half's drive. And I decided I'm just done with the uh, driving and don't want to do another three, more than three hours probably total of driving today to get there and back. And so I'm going to just uh, wander around this nice little town and do some random exploring, get out and stretch the legs and see what people were talking about when they recommended Sremski Karlovci. Some very uh, impressive architecture. I guess it's more Austro-Hungarian style. Just a guess, but uh, looks that way. A very uh, mellow scene here. Looks like they're renovating this building here. The Danube out there, that road right there goes to Novi Sad to the left and to the right towards Belgrade. So I'm not sure what the deal is with these. These look like they could be very, very old. Statues. Hard to tell. that's all about. Up here apparently. I'll have to get over there and show that uh, church or maybe it's a cathedral later. I was overheating there so I had to change the uh, setup and look up there. I think that that is what the viewpoint must be referring to. Get up on top of the hill and get some views looking out over the uh, Danube. Maybe see no Sad. And some classic Serbian homes here. Okay, where are my signs? To the right. And it kind of looks like that's the way to go. He's sticking his nose under the uh, gate there. This looks like the steps going up to the top of the hill, because over here, it starts going back down. But uh, I'm sure that that is locked. Might as well uh, try to try, but very locked, so, uh, hmm.
Well, these signs have kind of left me uh, lost here. I think I'll try to go around the other way. And looks like that worked. There's a cross up there. That's probably where the uh, best views are. But probably I can get over there by going through the cemetery. And there should be great views on the other side of the uh, hill up there. Nice. There we go. The Danube, the second longest river in Europe, flows through Novi Sad and Belgrade, I think Vienna, and some other major cities of Europe. And bummer, looks like this is locked, same as the uh, walking route coming up the stairs, so for some reason they decided to just lock this off. Looks like it'd be a cool view from the cross there. I'll admit it's kind of tempting to try to, you know, get over this fence. It would be easy enough, but uh, it is not worth taking the chance of breaking a law in a foreign country, especially when you have a uh, flight the next day and possibly spending a night or three or who knows what in jail, so... Anyway, got a little view. And fortunately, I decided to walk to the other end of the hill and see what was over here. Let's see if it's open. It's looking pretty closed from here. But I think that there will definitely be a really nice view from the other side. Capella, SV, Jacoba Apostola. I'm going to guess that that means Chapel of St. Jacob the Apostle. 1913. Too bad. And there we go, a nice view looking out towards Fruska Gora, the wine country of Serbia. Back in the middle of town here, and this is an important building here. It is the first Serbian grammar school. Founded in 1791, a Hungarian architect, Jula Partos, made a project for the present building and it was made in 1891 as an endowment of the Serbian patriarch. And here on the right is a Roman Catholic church. On the left is a Orthodox church. Baroque Cathedral Church of Holy Father Nikolai was built between 1758 and 1762. It was located on the site of the former temple dedicated to the same saint. And so this is the building that I saw before that's all being renovated. Looks like I can go inside. And I put my uh, shirt back on so I'm a little more appropriate. Go on. Huh. 
a little too dark in here to see it well, but it's pretty spectacular. A stuffed burger patty with fries and a salad.